Hi, I'm Jeff Ludy, the owner of Houston Window Experts. Thank you so much for watching this. Hey, by the way, when you hit like, YouTube knows that it's a good video. So if this is a good video, don't forget to hit like so it gets in front of more eyeballs. That's kind of how our YouTube channel tends to grow. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about a problem that we hear a lot about. People call and say, Jeff, my window's broken and I don't know what to do. And we're referring specifically to windows that have tilts. Like you've heard about windows, right? That they tilt in so you can clean them, etc. I've got a great video on single hung versus double hung which covers that topic. We'll put a little uh, place up here. If you click on that or just load it to your queue, you can watch it after this video because I think you ought to compare the differences between single hung and double hung windows. But let's say that you have either a single hung or a double hung window that tilts in for cleaning and you decide to clean it one day and then for some reason after you've done that, the window no longer will stay up, right? You, you go to uh, raise the window and it just drops back down. That happens often and we get a call about that. So I wanna show you how you can fix a window that won't stay up. So in today's video, we're gonna use this product. This is NT, they're a company out of the Dallas-Fort Worth area, make a wonderful product. And this happens to be a single hung window. They also make a double hung where the top and bottom both move. And as you can see, when I open this window, it stays wherever I put it. Wherever I put this window, it just stays there and continues to work and operate properly because it has what's called a balancer. There's a balancer behind here, you get to see that in just a minute, that actually, is proportionately weighted to the size and the weight of the window. If it's, not if it's not right, if it's not balanced right, the window will drop on you. If it's too strong, then it'll pull the window up. So they have the right balancer for the weight of the sash. But let's say you decided, I wanna go ahead and clean this window like I saw um, my salesman demonstrate. And so you tilt the window in and you clean it and you might find that it's easier to actually pull it out and to like lay it on the bed or something and, and clean it and put it back in. So what you do is you open the window, you would tilt it to a horizontal position where it's exactly 90 degrees or as close as you can. And then you'd raise one side up first and then you'd raise up the other and you'd be able to take that window right out of there. That sash would come right out of there. And if you notice here, it's got a little metal tab. That metal tab is what connects this sash to the balancer. Now I wanna show you where the balancer is, the balancer is actually right here. And you can see that that's what holds this spring coil material, okay? So it's like a spring coil. Now look right here. See that shiny kind of gold looking stuff right down inside of there? Imagine a roll of stamps, okay? As this goes up and down, it coils back into here because this is spring steel and that's what causes it to raise and lower. So there's really a couple of components to this and I wanna talk about that. So this component right here, this is actually called the sash pivot. Okay, and if you look at it from this angle, you'll see that it's flat on one spot. See that, how it's flat, okay? So the idea there is that that goes into this. This is called the shoe, the balancer shoe. Take a look at that. I'm gonna use a screwdriver to point at it. But if you notice here, it's kind of U-shaped, almost like a horseshoe. So that flat spot, of the sash will drop into there, okay? And that causes it to, when I move the sash, to actually turn this. And I'll show you how that works. So let's say you got done cleaning the window. You're all excited about your new clean window. And you go to put it back in and you get the left side engaged properly, but let's say you didn't get the right side engaged. And I'm gonna demonstrate that now. So I got the left one engaged, the right one's not. See how it's down here? It's not engaged properly. And so then I close my window and I close my window and I go, oh, I'm so glad I got those windows cleaned. I love it. But here's the problem. Next time I go to open the window, look at that. Like, oh no, my window's broken. Call Houston window experts. And, and what had happened here is when I was doing this, I ended up shoving that piece down further when I went to close this window because it wasn't seated properly in the first place. So if you notice here, that one's not engaging anymore. And that's why I only have 50% of the weight needed, the support needed to hold up this window. So here's how you fix it. You go ahead and remove it like you'd done earlier when you went to clean it. Remember, get it at a 90 degree angle. Okay, that's important. And then take it out. 
Now, if you notice on the left side, I'm at about 12 inches from the bottom. If you notice on the right side, I'm about five or six inches from the bottom. And so I want to bring these two back into the same spot together. So watch this. Come up here and close and look. I'm going to take my screwdriver. I'm going to simulate that I've got my sash in here. And watch what happens. Now I'm going to, hold, I'm going to put some downward pressure because this is spring loaded. I'm going to put some downward pressure on this and I'm going to tilt this into the horizontal position. And you see what happened there? That thing is popping back up on me. So I'm going to bring it back to where I want it. Okay? And then I'm going to tilt it where it's straight up and down. I'm twisting that now. If you notice, that puts a break on it. So when this is in the, in the position that's straight up and down horizontal like this, it applies a break to this by expanding that in there and keeping it from going up. Watch, I'll show you again. I'm going to turn this a little bit and watch how it moves up and down. See that? So I get it where I want it and then I turn it where it's straight up and down. This one on this side, now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to turn it. I'm going to get it to where I want it, about the same position as the other one. And then I'll straighten it back out and that'll apply the break. So now these are in about the same spot. Now what's important for me to get this right is I've got to get this in here completely vertical. I can't be like this when I do it or it won't work. So I'll put the right side in, then the left side. I feel it sit down into that shoe. And then as I stand it up, oh yes, that feels great. I saw this side come up and get level. Now I click it back in place and look at this. See that? And it works again. So the key to this is when you take it out, so you won't have this problem, when you tilt it out, I'd like to come up about six inches from the bottom. It also gives you a little more control there. Tilt it out, make sure you get to exactly 90 degrees, lift one side first, and then the other. And you, you know, should maybe do a little bit of wiggling like I'm doing here to get it out. And then do what you need to do. And when you put it back in, make sure you do exactly the same thing, but in reverse order. Make sure that that is seated down into that shoe properly. And then tilt it up, a little bit of wiggle while you're at it, and put it back. The other thing you can do is hire a professional window cleaning company. And this will never happen to you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.